previously on Wear Testers. We took a look at these bad boys right here, the Stage Haze, but they also had bleach coral on them. And that is where these guys come in. This, my friends, oh man, these are fantastic. Also bleach coral, sorry, I meant to say that too. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official wearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low in the bleached coral colorway. At least that's what the name is on the box, like the colorway and all that stuff. I don't know what they're gonna actually call these, but as of right now, that's just what we're running with because that's what the internet has dubbed them. And just like the high top version that we just reviewed, these guys right here have very similar materials, if not identical. Things have been switched around just a tad. Obviously these don't have a collar on them, but these guys have released overseas and down south they've been available for like over a month in certain areas which is crazy some people think oh you got fakes no okay we make sure that we don't get fakes but these guys right here feature the same exact leather on the toe not something that i'm a big fan of but i mean what are you gonna do it's a great looking colorway i love this pink looking salmon or whatever i don't know what color it looks like you're uh what is that are those overalls yep 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 it looks just like it. It's awesome. So first things first, the Air Jordan 1, obviously. Great distraction of all time. That's right. And on top of that is a rubber cut sole. Inside of that is a polyurethane wedge. Inside of that is an air sole unit. On top of all of that stuff is this insole right here. It's not quite a piece of sh but it's also not premium or anything like that. It's not like the uh, polyurethane insoles that we should be getting in all of these shoes, especially for the price. However, uh, this is kind of like an environmentally friendly version of polyurethane. So it is better or a step above ortholite. It's just not as good as actual polyurethane, which is a bummer because when we first saw these leaked for the heritage ones, I was actually really excited. I was like, oh man, they're going to give us some good sh now. No they didn't it's it's jordan brand what are you gonna do however they do come with extra laces so they come with the pink laces as well as these black ones i personally prefer just the way that they are right here now the materials on these guys are awesome uh i think that oh, preface i don't like the cracked leather but the rest of the leather that is featured on the shoe is really really nice especially for jordan brand quality the white leather here is soft supple got a great little light texture to them it's not like super heavy or anything it's definitely not like this crack stuff in the front and then the suede is just my favorite part it looks so good it's got a slight little hair to it it's man it don't smell like they're premium or anything so like that's kind of a bummer i would have loved to have had like a more leathery smell to the shoe just because they did use a lot of leather on these compared to like a mid or a low where a lot of that is like kind of like mixed with synthetics but it's still great quality nonetheless especially if you're comparing it to previous jordan brand releases the one thing that i do have just a i don't know if i call this a major gripe because clearly i still love the shoe so like it's not something that's going to deter me from buying them it's just that they're labeling these once again as the air jordan one low og and it's not. I know that some people are like, well, who cares? And I'm assuming that those people are new to the sneaker scene and stuff because the people that have grown up with this stuff, right? Like we know these shoes as what they were. So if you're going to re-release them, they should be that, especially if you're naming it like that. And they're just not like that. And it's really confusing to me personally, because why are you calling these the Air Jordan 1 Low OG if you switch them up from the last time that you released the actual Air Jordan 1 Low OGs, which are these guys right here. These were uh, outlet fine for days every colorway i bought them all they were all amazing basically we have one extra eyelet on these guys so there's eight instead of seven the swoosh obviously way larger on this guy than it is here on top of all of that though the toe boxes man like there is no comparison you got a nice wide 80 style toe box this right here is the same exact toe box that you get on the regular cheap version of the air jordan one lows and that's the thing that i just don't like about the shoe it's like from here over it's the cheap jordan one low look and then from here back Back, it's the actual OG look where the wings logo is on the back heel tab instead of on the base where it's like stitched in down there or, or stamped in. So it's just stuff like that where it's like really weird because of how inconsistent they are, especially when you look at the Travis Scott stuff, the Travis Scott lows. Those are built just like these. They have the same amount of eyelets. They've got the same swoosh. They got the sw same wide toe box. Like it's like, dude, like you guys are making them, but why aren't you making them? Again, I wouldn't necessarily consider it a nitpick, but I also wouldn't consider it a deal breaker. It's just something that when I see it, I'm just like, guy, like who's over there? I know for a fact that they fired, like, I don't want to say fired, they let go. A lot of the great people that used to work there. There are still good people that do work there, but whoever's left is just not fighting the good fight to make sure that these things are actually like legit, like, like it's a real Jordan brand product. At this point, to me at least, somebody that's been buying their shoes forever, it just feels like that they are releasing fakes of their own stuff. And it's just like really, 
really whack. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, you can do one of two things. One, you can go true to size, you'll have a little bit of wiggle room. Or two, you can go down half a size, they will be a little bit more snug, but it'll also help prevent like awkward creasing. They have a little bit of volume above the toe. So those are the two things. With Jordan 1 highs, I feel like you can go true to size the majority of the time because they have all this extra padding and the high top collar, which is all removed on the low. So they just feel sometimes a little bit more loose. If you do go true to size though, and they are a little loose, you can stack an extra thin insole on top. It'll raise your foot up just a little bit and it'll take up some of that awkward dead space. Something that I forgot to talk about though, is that I was messing around with the B roll. Oh yeah, this was a pretty cool trick. I wouldn't call it a trick. It was just an accident. <laughs> but like, uh, so I was, I was trying to line things up to make sure that everything was going to be in focus. Yeah. And so, yeah, so I had just done these and then I was using these and I was just kind of like placing them like this. And when I did that, cause like I had talked about in this video, how I don't like it when it's this weird patch of white or random color up there that doesn't match the rest of the heel and everything. I just, it, to me, it looks really, really awkward. I don't hate the shoes or anything like that. I, I still think that these look great, but it's very weird looking. But when I was lining these up and I did this and I could see in the viewfinder, I was like, oh my goodness. Like they look great with the weird, awkward collar change up because the toe matches the heel. Instead of it being white and gray, gray or whatever like it, I don't remember what the name of those shoes are again the one with the red smoke, smoke, gray. smoke gray yeah so like clearly there was no red tie-in or anything like that even though that shoe was predominantly one color but I was just like man if they would just match the heels and the toes up and then have the weird awkward thing up top it looks hella clean so if you guys start to use that I mean you know where you saw it first it was an accident but I mean still like it happened now what do you think about these? They match your overalls? Yeah, I had picked up on that before you had said it. I was like, there we go. There's my commentary for the video. And then you're like, I was oh, like, oh, sorry. Cool. I, stole, I stole her thunder. <laughs> my bad. Her one contribution. I took it. But uh, no, like you like these, right? Yeah, no, they're cute. I think that these are really dope. The materials are, are on point. Does that cracked material bother you at all? It didn't bother me on these, so they're not bothering me on these. Well, that's a shame. I really wish that they bothered you on at least one of them. <laughs> This one insulted my mother, so now I don't like it. <laughs> Is that what it did? <laughs> you bastard. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here, especially if you're still here. So if you're here like right now as I'm saying this, thank you so much. Oh, there's this weird new thing on YouTube. Uh, it's in the bottom area above the description box where there's like the like button. I think there's still a dislike button even though we can't see them anymore. You mean you can't see the um, number of dislikes? Yeah, like it. the people do it, but like you can't see it. Okay. I think that's stupid. Maybe it's just to appease the person who wants to dislike things. Being like, here's a button you can push. Well, the funny thing, the funny thing is that with most content, like when you click the dislike button, usually that's reflective of the content. So like, they're like, no, I didn't like this video. But when we're talking about sneakers, so like sneaker YouTubers, some of them get butt hurt because they're like, they keep disliking my videos. They're disliking the shoes nine times out of 10. They're not disliking your video or your content. They're just, they're like, these are trash, thumbs down. They don't even think that like, oh, somebody like put a lot of time and effort into making this video. So it's not anything personal. It's just the way that people think for whatever reason. But next to all of that stuff, there's this weird little heart thing where you can say thanks. Uh, it's basically a little tip. So if you didn't want to join our Discord for whatever reason and get free stuff, then you can also hit that little heart thingy and send in like a, a tip essentially. So we're kind of like strippers, but we keep our clothes on. Basically you say thanks and then also it will highlight your comments so that we know that you did that and then we can go and like heart it or reply or whatever. So if you have a question or whatever that you'd like uh, responded to that and you're not part of the Discord, that's typically how you can reach one of us. Uh, you can use that thing and there you go. So just a little small tip again, if you're still here, which did you hear that? They're crickets. I don't think so, Tim. You can't say that to me. Yes, I can. I'm not the Tim in this relationship. So you're Al? <laughs> or Jill. Oh, oh yeah. Would you do kind of you do kind of look like Jill. <laughs> I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. Jill was hot back in the day. What are you talking about? Okay. You don't think so? Mm. What? For like a mom? Mm. That's where the milk comes from. <laughs> okay. With that being said, I'm in I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it was my fault. But still. With all that being said, thank you once again, and until next time, guys, have a good one. You don't think that Jill was hot? No. Why not? Because she doesn't do it for me. Well. I hate to break it to you. I would rate the mom on Boy Meets World as hotter than Jill. Hold on, hold on. She had better hair, but that's about it. Like the mom on Boy Meets World almost looks like an adult version of the Pink Ranger in my brain. Like ever since I was little. Mm, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>